In today's episode, I'm looking back at one of the biggest releases from 2019 that never really caught much hype in the community, and it's never really been spoken about much since. This one is Le Beau by Jean-Paul Gaultier, and to find out what my thoughts are on this one, stay tuned to Max Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 113 of my Fragrance 365 project where I give my thoughts on a different fragrance every day for a whole year. So today's scent of the day is Le Beau by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this is described as a woody aromatic fragrance for men and the perfumers behind it were Quentin Biche and Sonia Constant. It was launched back in 2019 and it was round about this time that I first decided that I was going to uh, set up a YouTube channel. And this bottle here was actually the fragrance that I filmed my very first clip of B-roll footage with. Um, so I've just kept the bottle just out of prosperity. Um, but yeah, I wore this all the way through the summer of 2019. And it's the one that will always be remembered as my Mags Frags channel starter fragrance. Yeah, so into the presentation and it comes in two bottle sizes, a 75 milliliter and a 125 milliliter. This is the 125 milliliter size, uh, which I think is the best value of the two. And you can now pick it up for less than 60 pounds from discounters. Both are, uh, arrive in the familiar Jean-Paul Gaultier tin can style packaging, but this one is finished in a teal colourway with gold embossed branding on the front. To access the fragrance, you need to lift the, lift the whole top away whilst holding the bottom, because it, and just be careful with this one because it's easily uh, easy to knock the bottle out of this bl uh, plinth and you can take a tumble whilst you're doing this, so just be careful. Uh, the bottle is presented on this plush like dark red velour plinth and is in the shape of a male torso with uh, a golden fig leaf covering his uh, wedding tackle. It's a clear glass bottle which allows you to see the turquoise juice inside and at the top there's a gold atomizer. Uh, with with the Jean-Paul Gaultier ring pull uh, and this is to stop you from accidentally uh, spray pressing down on the uh, atomizer and wasting a spray. Uh, the spray distribution on this I would say is pretty good. Yep, nice big fine mist there. It delivers a, a really decent blast. Uh, so you may only need probably, I would say, two or three sprays of this because it, it does perform, but we'll get into that a bit later on. Uh, but overall, this is uh, an amazingly packaged product. And uh, as with all the Jean-Paul Gaultiers, I would give it a 10 out of 10 for its presentation. Yeah, we've got a very simple note breakdown on this one. Just three notes listed in this. In the top, there's bergamot, in the heart, there's coconut, and in the base, there's tonka bean. So this one opens up with a fresh zesty lime note and is supported by a creamy coconut, which for the first few minutes uh, just sits in the background. So it's more fresh and energizing rather than being too sweet. It has a very tropical summertime vibe and it instantly transports you to a white sandy beach on a paradise island sipping cocktails from a coconut. As it starts to dry down, the bergamot fades slightly and the coconut becomes a little bit more prominent. The tonka bean in the base adds a touch more sweetness and depth, but it never goes overly sweet. And what you get for the most part is a refreshing and uplifting tropical scent with a very happy and uplifting scent profile. There's nothing complex in here whatsoever, and it does have a little bit of a synthetic designer fragrance element to it just in the opening. Uh, but on the whole, this is an incredibly delicious and mouth-watering fragrance that comes off smelling like a tropical fruit drink. This is summertime in a bottle and I would wear this casually either during the day or in the evening but it's not one that I'd recommend for like an office environment. For me this is a, a day at the beach or for a warm summer night out uh, when you're on holiday and in fact this is probably the perfect holiday fragrance and if you threw this uh, 
Paco Rabanne one million par fun and Hollister uh, SoCal into your suitcase, you'd have the, uh, the, the best holiday aromatherapy ever. I also think uh, this would be fine in the spring and possibly early autumn too, with it having a slight woodiness in the dry down. But outdoors in the summertime is where this one is king. So slip on a, a white t-shirt, a pair of uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses and a couple of sprays of this and let the summer summertime magic begin. The performance is great and I'd say it's up there with the very best designer fragrances. It projects really well for around about four hours and it's one of the very few fresh scents that gets me complimented every time I wear it. It'll stay around on fabric for about 10 hours plus and for a warm weather fragrance that's pretty beast mode. This is one of the reasons why I said that it may not be great for the office because it would probably become a little bit annoying in a, a confined space. But if performance is what you're looking for for this summertime, then definitely give this one a try. Yeah, fragrances are like songs and they can transport you straight to a different place and bring out different emotions. This will always remind me of the summer of 2019, sat in a beer garden with a friend of mine talking about setting up our respective YouTube channels. But I'm sure this will remind most people of maybe a past holiday on the beach. It smells like a uh, tropical paradise island and I absolutely love it. But if you aren't a fan of coconut or uh, a tropical vibe, then I'd swerve this because it's pretty much all you're going to get in this one. The performance is great, uh, the presentation is top notch, and for under 60 quid for a 125ml bottle like this, you can't go wrong. So for those reasons, it gets a straight 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about a much-loved uh, fragrance in the community, but it's not one that's too mainstream. Um, it's also been requested by one of the subscribers to the channel, so be sure to tune in tomorrow to see which one I'm talking about. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And it's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques and all of these fragrances that feature in this 365 project. So keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So as always, thank you very much once again for tuning in. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye bye for now.